हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक और डिस्कशन इज भार सो रिसेंटली आई आई टी मद्रास हैज डेवलप इंडिया वेरी ओन मोबाइल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कॉल्ड भार ओ एस इट इज सेट टू बी अ स्टेप फॉरवर्ड इन प्रोवाइडिंग अ मोर सिक्योर सॉफ्टवेयर एक्सपीरियंस टू यूजर्स एंड अ बूस्ट टू आत्मनिर्भर भारत नाव यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग वाई एन इंडिजिनियस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम Currently the majority of the smartphones in India run on two operating system the iOS from Apple and Android from Google both of which are foreign companies these raises concern about the privacy and security of users in India our own indigenously developed OS will help in ending the duopoly of Apple and Google in the smartphone operating system and app market and reduce the dependency on them it will also protect users from using pre-installed apps that other os and smartphone companies force on their users having our own operating system will help us to have better control over data and information flow within the country which can prevent sensitive information from falling into the hands of foreign countries or terrorist groups now let us discuss what are the benefits of bhar os Bhar OS is expected to be available for a wide range of devices like smartphones, laptops, etc. Bhar OS will not ship with Google, Apple or Microsoft services pre-installed, which will allow the users to decide which service and apps he she wants to opt for. User security is the top priority of Bhar OS, so it is expected to provide the best security and protection to the users. Bhar OS will receive security updates through the native over the air nota update process which automatically downloads and install the updates to the phone without the need for manual initiation by the user it will be a great benefit to organizations that have stringent privacy and security requirements helping them to handle sensitive information without any worry Now let us discuss what are the challenges. The developers of Bhar OS have not specified when it will be accessible to the public. It is also not clear for how long the developers will push security and software updates to Bhar OS. Android and iOS have taken decades and a lot of manpower and financial resources to reach where they are today. So, it can be very difficult for Bhar OS to compete with them. One of the main reasons why Android and iOS are the two most popular mobile operating system is their own app stores because the OS is so new and has a zero user base as of now Bhar OS may struggle to attract developers to create apps for it making it difficult to sustain users who are used to existing apps Windows Phone OS of Microsoft failed due to its inability to attract third party developers It will also be difficult to make Bhar OS powered devices available to consumers as the manufacturers may hesitate to produce devices that will run on a new operating system because that can be risky for the smartphone companies initially. In the past, the government attempted to replace existing operating system in smartphones and computers with an indigenous one called Bharat Operating System Solution (BOS), but it was not successful. Now what can be the way forward the government will have to provide sufficient funds to the developers of bharat operating system in future to cover the high cost of development and maintenance for the os it will become very important to attract talented skilled and experienced developers and experts to the development of the operating system It will also be very important to market Bhar OS to the public and provide them with a good reason to switch it over the other existing ones. The Bhar OS developers will need to gain the trust of the public by supporting Bhar OS devices continuously with security and privacy updates. Initially, the government will have to provide some sort of incentive to the mobile and computer manufacturers to make devices with Bhar OS. We will conclude our video by saying the decision to develop India's own indigenous smart device operating system called Bhar OS is a good move for several reasons. 
by developing its own operating system india can increase security and privacy for its citizens create job and stimulate economic growth reduce dependence on foreign technology companies and foster innovation and technological development within the country additionally an indigenous operating system can be tailored to meet the specific needs and preferences of indian citizens and can help in better control over data and information flow within the country which is critical for national security economic stability social political stability while there are certainly challenges to developing and promoting a domestic operating system the potential benefits outweigh the challenges and its strategic move for india thank you for watching comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics like this